Hi everyone, Ashley here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been years, a year, I don't even know. I wanted to do this video as kind of like a reintroduction because obviously I've been gone for a long time and I've done a lot of things. I got pregnant, gave birth, <laughs> and now I'm just momming it. I started a second business and that's what I wanna talk about today on this video is how I started a second business as a new mom and also just kind of like reintroduce myself. I am currently a mom to a almost 10 month old, 10 months, oh my God, she's 10 months today. <laughs> I thought she was 10 months tomorrow. So she is 10 months today. I had her in November of 2022 um today is september 26th so yeah it has been quite the journey it was an interesting birth i really want to like plug this video of my birth story in the description below if you want to check it out i'm gonna make a video on that as well and i'm gonna have it in the description because i did hypnosis for my birth and i had a birth that i really didn't want but it happened basically i wanted to do a water birth at home and then ended up doing it in the hospital because i had pee prom anybody who doesn't know what that is your water breaks early but you don't actually have the baby until like weeks later which is a concept that people don't know exists i didn't know existed it happens to like four percent of people but i did get to take my hypnosis with me into my birth and that was super special to be able to take that with me. As you know, by looking on my channel, I'm a hypnotherapist and a life coach. And so that is why I did hypnosis for my birth. So that is for another video. But yes, I'm going to be talking about my second business, how I started it, why I started it. And basically, I'll, I'm going to show you my bottle. Here's my first bottle. This one. How do I do that like focus thing? So here's my bottle. I am super excited for her to be released. I have a bunch of other products besides that one. This one is a room spray. It has frankincense, Palo Santo, and tea tree. And everything I use is baby safe. There is like no sulfates, no parabens, even the Thing that I use to like mix the oil in the water is based from sunflower so I personally wanted the most natural products to be using around my baby and so that is why I created this brand. Now how did I start a second business with my baby and why? Well first answer why because being a hypnotherapist and being a mom at the same time is nearly impossible. I tried to do it for the first few months of having her. I mean I definitely took like some time off when she was fresh and newborn but i did start seeing clients again around the two and three month mark and i just had a breakdown one day because i realized that i couldn't do it like i thought for some reason i could squeeze in sessions or at least like my free consultations while she's napping but i had a situation where i was doing a consultation with somebody and she was napping she woke up and she was crying she wanted a bottle and so like i had to tend to my baby <laughs> so i had to like in the call and like that was the day where it was like i cannot do this business with my baby at this current moment so seeing clients as a hypnotherapist is on hold and that is like a thing that i just feel like i'm not sure what's in store for it. So the types of products that I will be carrying in my new business called Soul Blends is a room spray, which is this one. And then I will also be carrying products for the diaper pail. And this is kind of like why I really executed this business at this time and turned my idea because I have a lot of ideas. Like <laughs> I have so many ideas and I don't always execute all of them. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that. But um, this diaper pail situation was really what got me to execute this. And originally it was something that I was just doing for myself. And I was kind of telling my friends like, hey, mom hack, you should be putting this in your diaper pail because it, 
helps tremendously because we all know when we change that diaper pail, it is horrendous <laughs> to smell all the poopy diapers just like in the bag. It's so gross. So I discovered two different types of products that help my diaper pail not have that terrible smell when I change it more is the most important thing like the diaper pail invention itself is really cool because it's a closed like double closed trash can and like I don't know about you guys but I have like the decor brand or something um so it has this little flap and you just i just like throw the diaper in there and it quickly like opens and closes and so it stops any smells from like escaping not any because they still do escape as you know if you have a diaper pail and so my goal was like how can i get it to stop escaping which was kind of like the second problem the first problem that wrong i don't know <laughs> the first problem was that like when i change it it's just terrible like i don't want to smell that and it lingers in the room like after you change your diaper pail i know you guys know what i'm talking about like if you change your diaper pail like especially if you have it in like a small area like for us we are doing elimination communication with our baby so she uses the potty and she has diapers and so we have the whole diaper changing area in the bathroom not like in her nursery or like her bedroom or whatever you call it like it's a small area and so like our bathroom would stink um, from the diaper pail being in a small area so i was like how can i get this to be less stinky <laughs> you can't get, a, get rid of the smell like entirely but like i have got it to like 90% like you it's really not a problem like it is a huge difference so um that is my product that is like the biggest product the one that i started all this with and then um my little room spray my mellow mist is something that just kind of like came out of it when i was like mixing oils one day and i was like you know what this could be a room spray this smells really really good <laughs> And so I use this for like in our bathroom, like after we go to the bathroom, it's a room spray, but you can also use it all over your house because it's definitely not like a, just a bathroom spray. So I use it in the living room, like whenever the house just feels like stuffy, like I use it and it just has a woodsy smell and it just feels really grounding and also has a clean undertone to it. And then I'm also going to be developing a lavender spray that will be coming out. So lots and lots and lots of products and then I'll probably venture off into other areas. I'm just really loving doing this stuff and I just love that I'm able to like spend time with my baby as well. So anyways, that is kind of like all I have to say. That's my reintroduction. That's what I've been doing. I'm definitely going to be having Declan on my channel so that way you guys can see her and we can hopefully create like a little mom community here and um yeah I will keep you guys updated on the launch of my products if you want to follow my Instagram at soul.ambitions that's where I'm going to be posting everything and i have many more videos to come i am going to try to stay consistent on youtube now so thank you so much for watching my video today and i am so excited to talk to you in my next video and i hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you soon bye